Welcome, I'm Greg Fogel and today we are going to talk about proper hoof care for your animal. Many tools are available to aid in the process of trimming feet, some of which include a cradle, turntable, or blocking and trimming stand. Depending upon the number and size of your flock or the size of the group to be trimmed will often determine the equipment you will use. Today we will be teaching you how to flip your animal and trim the feet. This is a method anyone can use and the only thing you need are your hoof trimmers. The first thing we will discuss is how to flip your sheep so it is restrained and you can work on its feet. This is a management tool that can be used for many other things than hoof trimming. Once you have caught your sheep, you will need to position yourself on the side of your animal between its front and back legs. Place your left hand under the jaw of the sheep. Start by twisting the neck around towards its rump. Remember the head is your sheep's steering wheel. Where the head goes, the body will follow. While twisting the neck back, grab the animal's flank and pick up. Be sure you are in a position so that you are providing some resistance so that your sheep does not just move sideways and back while you are turning the neck and picking up the flank. Once your sheep is on the ground, grab the front legs and move it to a sitting position between your legs. Now that your sheep is restrained, we can move to trimming its hooves. First, you'll need to clean the foot of all manure and mud with your trimmer or your hand. This allows you to see what you will be trimming. Cut the tip of the hoof off so that you can position your trimmers to cut the rest of the overgrowth off to be flush with the hoof. Here's the difference between a trimmed and untrimmed hoof. Repeat the same process for all four feet of your animal. However, be careful to not take too much off. By removing too much, you can get into the quick of the hoof and cause it to bleed. This will lead to a sore foot and potentially a lame animal. Cracked or split hooves can happen in an animal with overgrown hooves. Trim the hoof down so that the crack or split is even with the hoof again. This might mean trimming a hoof past flush. It will vary how often you need to trim your animal's hooves. If they are in an environment that allows the hoof to be worn down, you might only need to trim the hooves once or twice a year for brood use. If they do not have a place to wear the hoof down, you will most likely have to trim the feet more often. Remember, sheep's feet grow at various rates and each flock might differ. If you are working with show animals, trim their feet regularly. Try to maintain a small amount of growth. Be sure to trim the feet at least two weeks prior to a show or event to ensure you do not have a lame animal when you go to exhibit at a fair. I thank you for your attention today on today's video and good luck trimming feet.